Hi everyone, I'm Stefan Holt and this is News for Now for Monday, October the 7th. First up, the weather. Keep that umbrella handy tonight. Uh, tomorrow, it's going to be dry, but a little bit cooler. We have high temperatures in the 60s. Let's turn now to the news. We have just learned the names of three of the four homeless men who were brutally murdered in their sleep over the weekend in Chinatown. I just saw him Several sidewalk tributes are growing tonight for Nazario Viegas, Shun Kwok, and Anthony Manson. Police say they and a fourth man all died from blunt force trauma, and a fifth victim is still in critical condition. The suspect, identified as Randy Santos, is also homeless. He was arrested with a metal pipe in his hands, but police still don't know what triggered those attacks. Today, the city announced it is stepping up homeless outreach, but advocates say much more needs to be done. Please, for the love of God, build housing for homeless New Yorkers. Let's turn now to the financial district where dozens of activists were arrested after drenching both the Charging Bull statue and Wall Street in fake blood. Organizers say they did it to call attention to climate change and to show that corporations have blood on their hands. They even staged a funeral march right in front of the New York Stock Exchange. The scene caught a lot of attention today, including from the NYPD. In all, 93 protesters were arrested. It was one of several climate protests around the world today. Two New York natives have been awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine. The award goes to Greg Semenza at Johns Hopkins University. He was born in Flushing and raised in Terrytown. He shares the prize with Harvard University's William Kalin, who is originally from Queens. They're honored for their study of oxygen and how cells in the body react to it. Their work could help to treat cancer and anemia. A security scare on a plane heading to Newark. A man was arrested after they say he tried to force his way onto the flight. Come on, guys. What time is it? We're going to Newark. This happened at Miami International Airport. Authorities say the man had a ticket for the American Airlines flight, but dashed right by the gate agent as he yelled loudly. He made it all the way to the plane before other passengers stopped him. In the end, police arrested the man. He's now undergoing a psychiatric evaluation. And finally, have you seen this video yet? Yeah, that's a buck smashing right through the front of a hair salon on Long Island. It happened a few days ago. I probably don't even have to tell you, but the footage has gone viral online. One woman had minor injuries, but the salon is already back open for business. That's going to do it for News for Now, but keep watching for much more. We talked to the woman who was sitting on the couch when that deer dropped in. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for checking out.